Now Your Weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Those very warm and muggy temperatures were shifted down to the south today. Highs were in the mid 70s, a nice break from the hot and humid conditions, but it is going to start to build back up here. Temperature wise, not that terrible. Honestly, looking across the lower 48s, even some colder temperatures up to the north. Matter of fact, yesterday, highs were only in the mid and upper 50s up towards International Falls in Minnesota. Quite a contrast. But as we do go into the next week, we are going to start to warm up back up into the mid and upper 80s. A lot of sunshine to kick off the morning, but then a roll of cloud cover moved in here from Lake Michigan, and it did turn our skies partly to mostly cloudy for a short period of time. But then the sun did return. It's just been from fair weather cumulus clouds passing through ever since high pressure in store, but it's going to be moving out of our area and a warm front will be lifting northward and also there will be a slight chance of a few rain showers late tonight into early tomorrow morning, but the warm air is coming right back in here. The right now there is a risk of severe weather off across parts of the plains and the Midwest. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect with a couple severe thunderstorm warnings, not a whole lot of reports so far, but a couple hail and some gusty winds from those storms. Then as we head into tomorrow, risk of severe weather still stays off towards the west of us. However, as we get into Tuesday, there will be a marginal risk for severe storms, primarily a risk for some hail or perhaps some gusty winds with some of these storms that start to pop up in here. Right now, a line of storms moving into Minnesota. As it heads into Wisconsin, we are going to see the line of storms fall apart. There will be a chance of a few rain showers overnight into tomorrow morning, but it doesn't look to be too deceiving right Right now, right now, right across our area, clear skies, calm winds, not too bad of an evening. As you head into tonight, we'll see the clouds increasing from the west, moving eastward. You see a couple of these light rain showers. The best chance of seeing that will be west and northwest of the Fox Valley. As you get into the morning hours tomorrow, a few isolated sprinkles, but then we do turn into partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies, remaining dry for the rest of the day. Then as we get into Monday night into Tuesday, clouds start to build in here once again, and then we could have a few isolated showers and thunderstorms move in. Doesn't really look to be too deceiving, but certainly something to monitor as it gets closer into time. Rainfall prospects from now until Wednesday morning doesn't look too impressive, but we certainly could start to see some impacts as we get into Wednesday morning with the chance of those storms. And it does appear we do have a better chance of seeing additional rainfall over the coming days as we do have a slight chance of seeing above average precipitation. 74 with a light wind uh, out of the northeast at six miles per hour with a dry dew point in Green Bay and Appleton. The camera is frozen, unfortunately, but it is 73. It's clearly not dark outside and northeast wind at eight miles per hour. 78 in Pembine. We've got 73 in Appleton. Like I mentioned, it is 79 in Fond du Lac. Winds are coming in out of the northeast, so it is at cooler airflow and that cooler air bringing those dew points down into those 50s. But it is going to start to get a bit more humid as we do head into the next couple of days. Dew points getting back up into the mid and upper 60s, that oppressive and uncomfortable category. 60 overnight low. Watch out for an isolated rain shower with calm winds, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we'll get up to 86 with a few isolated rain showers in the morning, then turning sunny by the afternoon. And the mid and upper 80s stick around here could get near 90 degrees on Tuesday, mid 80s on Wednesday. Additional isolated chance of a shower storm. And the chance of a shower storm do persist all the way through next weekend with a fluctuation of temperatures. So it's feeling almost a little bit, I wouldn't call it tropical, but Ooh. you know, I don't know if you've been to Florida, <laughs> how we have these like pop up afternoon showers and storms like every day during the summer. Wow. So, yeah. yeah, I guess it is. Thank you, Gino. Still to come.